thank you for inviting. Uh, my name is Sari Hammar, and I work as a project manager in health, welfare and health services. And my task is to uh, develop uh, services that are suitable for everyone, including residents with various cultural and language backgrounds. So today I'm going to uh, represent some services that Espo City is offering to you. Okay, here we go. And then I put also this one here. So I will tell you something about services for families, dental care and student welfare. But first, a uh, little something about uh, the targeted we have here and we want to um, give the services. So we think it's very important that the services are in, in high quality, uh, also take care of the effectiveness and safety, well-being of employees, so that the work is smooth running, but very important is that uh, how is the client experience that services are as easily accessible as possible and the clients feel they benefit the clients participate in planning and so on so here's the so-called diamond of our social and health services you can take a closer look when you of this presentation. And the customer path of ESPO. So uh, it's important that we all live so that we maintain our health and well being. But uh, in a, in a, for everybody, the, the situation changes sometimes and that we need some services. So then it's important that we uh, can find them and the professionals in the services uh, help, help you to find out the situation of the customer and what is going on and what kind of services we are needing. Uh, there is the planning or decision made for a customer after this finding out what, what we do you need. And uh, customership and use of the services are then and follow up and evaluation is also very important to follow up if the services has been right for you, maybe you need something else, etc. And family and social services, there are many things included. Uh, healthcare, for example, in schools, children therapy services, social services for families with, with children, social services for adults and services for disabled people. And we have many, many experts and workers in this field, uh, including specialist expert and director, of course. So we all know that families have different needs. Some of them may be related in changing life situation or perhaps age of children. And it's good to remember that every one of us needs help and support sometimes. So let's have a look of some services we have for offer in here in Espo. Services for families. Um, our services are for families support children and their parents. Our goal is to ensure that children and young people can grow, develop, learn and be healthy and get help if they need it. So there are plenty of services, domestic services, family work, maternity and child care, child health clinics, so-called neovola, speech therapy for children, family law unit, child physiatric unit, family social work, family counseling, child protection, occupational therapy for children, psychology for children, children and adolescents with disabilities, open playgrounds with staff and services for youth. And also uh, I 
suggest that you take a look, closer look uh, behind this link. You may have heard about family centers, and they are a quite new service for families. And they, these centers would be developed in all the areas in ESPO. And the comprehensive services and support for families in different life situations. And this family center services brought together also services of different actors, um, also NGOs. Uh, the target is that they are the services are available in one office at the same place online or delivered home. And so in that way, services are easily accessible. The family center campus of Espo Keskus is the first one just opened uh, in this spring, uh, but the next is coming soon. And the, the family center of Nitsukumpu will be opened in 2023. Uh, some uh, special service we we have in, in Neuvola. It's for children, uh, families with children, uh, little children, children. Um, this is uh, supporting early native language development as a part of Neuvola services. It's offered for all multilingual families living in Nespo who have a child under one year age. Or it should be seven year age, so all Onevola age children and families with, with children at that age are welcome. And, and who has native language other than Finnish or Swedish. This service is free of charge. You can get materials and guidance for it. this service, helpful tips, also what to do with your, with your, your family, with the language, and also what is going on in ESPO. You can have this uh, support and discuss of your concerns about your child's native and Finnish language development, encouragement. You will reserve information about the many benefits of being a bilingual child and how to best support your child's native language development during the first year and beyond. And there are meetings with the families um, when the child is two, six, and ten months old. But uh, all the services are not uh, city services. It's very important to have uh, um, something interesting to do. So we have a close relationship with uh, many, many NGOs. So it's, uh, it can be very uh, rewarding to find a hobby, sports, music, culture, art, etc. You can also work as a volunteer in the organization and help others if you have time and you're interested in that kind of uh, activities. You can get information and peer support, uh, help from others in the same situation. You can get advice and face-to-face -face or digital support. You can also make a difference. If you're interested in politics, for example, you can join in politic political organization uh, or make your voice heard in, in those issues you feel that are important. And also uh, meet new lovely people. So where do I find information about NGOs in ESPO? There are some links below, so you can take a look. Hello, ESPO info. There's also in, in, in English, also in, in some other languages. And in Finnish, there are some addresses as well. Healthcare. It's very important that we know something about the healthcare services because we all need those services once a while. So there are health centers, there are also emergencies, 
mental health and substance abuse services, dental care, therapy and rehabilitation, school and student health care, and maternity and child health clinics, those level as I earlier mentioned. And something about these health centers. In normal situation, you can uh, call at the daytime, Monday to Friday, uh, but when the centers are closed, you can call the helpline. And if you're not, if your need is not that urgent, there are telephone service of Espos health centers that use this callback service. So someone will call you back when you uh, first call yourself. But you can also book an appointment online. But if there is a situation that uh, uh, the help is needed immediately, you can also and you should call uh, emergency line 112. But it's uh, very good to know that in Finland and in this ESPO also, it's very common that you will first meet a nurse when you contact two health centers. And if needed, you are directed to doctor's appointment. So that is very normal procedure. But something about dental care. Of course, it's very important that we take care of our own uh, teeth and mouth. So the problems would be that uh, big, big then. But when you need dental care, of course you you are allowed to uh, have those services as well. And here you can find some information on the, uh, through this link link also. But there you can see that there are some other things that only that you have aching teeth and tooth and you go to the uh, dentist. But the dental care's uh, task is also monitoring of the oral health of the population and, um, and some other things as well. And dental care for children uh, is functional so that there are certain points that uh, you could get a letter direct to your home and uh, they ask you to uh, make an appointment. So the child's mouth and can be checked. So there are some points uh, for little children and then when children start to school and also uh, before they are uh, adults. A student welfare. This is very important. Uh, when children go to school, they they. It's very important to create that kind of environment that all all the children are feeling good and it's a safe and good place to be. So this is. This is the way that we uh, offer the services, individual student welfare services, but also collective student welfare services that are taking care of that the whole community is uh, working fine. And then students, they also need services, also the health services maintain and promote students' physical, mental and social well being and offers them support with their studies and professional training. And this service is designed to foster life management skills and highlight the positive impacts a healthy lifestyle can have. So the further on when the young people are going ahead in their lives, they have those skills. You have also heard, I think, about this uh, well-being services counties and uh, the situ situation is so right now that there will be two organizations to um, provide services after New Year. So, for example, in Espo, Espo will join the well-being service county of West Uusimaa together with nine other municipalities 
and all the health and social services will, will be provided uh, by this well-being service county. Uh, for, for clients, this is not such a big change. All the services are remaining here in, in Espo area, and you can find them as uh, before. Maybe some telephone numbers, contact numbers will change. But uh, the key objective of the reform the services is to improve the availability, availability and quality of basic public services throughout the Finland. But here also is a link that you can learn something more about this situation. And now I thank you. It was very nice to come and, and talk to you. And I wish that you have some questions maybe and feel free to ask them. Thank you.